The views expressed in this episode may, or may not, represent the perspectives and beliefs of the author and presenter of this work. This work is intended in the spirit of exploratory musings, and is meant for entertainment, enlightenment, or offense by the viewer as the viewer sees fit or has need. Viewer discretion may be advised. There's a lot that's not right about the world. A lot of things that are completely off kilter, cattywampus and thoroughly out of plumb. Most of them I can't do anything about. Stuff I can't fix as much as I'd like to. Politics, the economy, society, the environment, the church, the state of the collective consciousness, all a mess and completely outside of my ability to repair. That's the thing about us guys. We like to fix things. We're problem solvers. It's hardwired. Some of us might not be good at fixing things, but the instinct is still there. It's a need. A need to try to make things better. To resolve problems. Even if our ham-fisted efforts make the opposite effect sometimes or a lot of times, depending on aptitude and competence, the intention is to fix it, even if we can't. See, we can't conceive or carry life within, give birth, we don't lactate and can't nurse, but we can try to cobble together solutions for those we would nurse if we could. We can sometimes fix things, solve problems, and make stuff a little better than before put stuff to rights, but there's a lot more stuff that can't be fixed than can, and that weighs on a man's mind. The toolmaker, hunter, fixer within wants to take action, but the woolly mammoth is too big, or there's too darn many of them. We don't want to admit it, but it's true. A herd of mammoths is too many to take on, so we have to sit in the tall grass with spears uselessly in hand and think about the problem of too many mammoths. We come up with outlandish, unexecutable solutions and feel frustrated over not being able to take action. That really rankles a man. We get grief for being grumpy. But really it's just consternation over unsolvable problems that have no simple solutions. The problem of too many mammoths. It's nothing personal, our brooding. It's just that unscratchable itch of unsolvable problems that nature compels us to instinctively want to fix. It's not just the big stuff either. It's mostly the little things. The clothes dryer that won't dry, regardless of the number of heating elements we spend our Saturdays replacing. The tire sensor that always claims the tire is low, despite filling the radial to near bursting. Or the neighbor's teenage kid who dresses like a chrome-trimmed bat, listens to music that sounds like livestock being slaughtered, smokes in their driveway and leaves his cigarette butts in our yard. You talk to his folks and they look at you like you're from Mars and tell you to mind your own business or you'll be hearing from their attorney. That's why I've come to like mowing the lawn. It's necessary. And it's an easy fix. It scratches that itch. No matter what else is going wrong, when I haul out the mower, get it roaring to drown out the neighbor kid's music and everyone else is nagging and grousing, for a little while I can set order to some chaos. A few dozen minutes pacing over my little weed freckled corner of the earth and I am able to tangibly solve a problem, to fix something, if only for the weak. The mess of uneven growth and bolting weeds is smoothed to an even, uniformed height. The wilds of my space are tamed, pleasing civility. A barefoot walk is no longer a teasing of fate. Runaway toys and balls can be recovered with ease. The deed enforcement goons and tisking neighbors kept at bay. My mammoths are conquered in some minuscule but meaningful way. It's not much, but it's what I have, so I'll take it. A problem weakly solved, the unresolved resolved if only until the next rain. 
It is my Zen Rock Garden. In the act of mowing my lawn, I can put all things right, at least in my head, if only for a short while, but it offers relief, a desperately needed tangible scratch to that eternal itch. I find a fix and wholeness is found, however briefly for this tool maker, hunter, fixer, problem solver. The mammoths are just over the horizon, this I know, but in this moment there's none in sight. Peace.